Hacking or how to become a hacker. Let's break down hacking and what actually it means. Hacking is all about breaking something or into by any means. This is usually done by testing and playing back and forth to see what works. So to learn hacking the fastest way, take this approach. Step number one, networking. Your first step should be to learn networking. This is the very basic of computing systems and networks and are the basic principles how computers communicate. Without this crucial knowledge, you will not go far. The best way to learn networking? Download Cisco Packet Tracer from Cisco Academy, register on Try Hack Me for free and start learning. Additional tip is that if you have a student email, it gives you a big discount. This also applies to Hack the Box. Step number two, you need to learn Linux. It makes everything so much easier, faster, and overall a much more fun experience when it comes to hacking slash development. How do I learn Linux? By installing VMware and installing Ubuntu or Linux Mint might be easier to start with. To learn Linux, I can recommend also doing CTFs on Drive Hack Me or Hack the Box. Step number three is your setup. Please listen to this as this is crucial so you don't waste your money. Hacking doesn't require the most powerful PC. You can actually use whatever it is you're using right now. A laptop, phone, tablet, whatever it is, just use it. However, if you do really want to spend your money or upgrade your PC, focus on 64 gigabytes of RAM for virtual machines, dual or triple monitors to make your life easier, storage, leave about 500 gigabytes to one terabyte for virtual machines and files, and also a good CPU will be very, very useful. However, if you have these things and have extra money, just buy yourself some subscriptions so you can learn without hassle. Step number four, which is programming and probably the biggest question. Believe me or not, but you don't actually need to know programming to hack. But if you want to become the best of the best, which is obviously something you should aim for, then programming is a must. But what languages should I learn? Focus on JavaScript, Python, C++, SQL, and PHP. Step number five, explore hacking or find what interests you. Remember that you can literally do anything when it comes to hacking. Hacking isn't all about websites or databases. Hacking also consists of mobile application testing, computer hacking, website hacking, social engineering, network security, blockchain bug bounty, or even game hacking to make cheats or hack games, and many more sectors where you can choose what interests your soul. Step number six, hacking is an art. You need to understand that hacking is more of an art rather than a skill. Therefore, hacking will take years to master and don't forget to constantly keep learning. However, hacking is a beautiful art and it's worth everything. You will have to pay in dedication, hard work, and patience. Step number seven, where to learn and resources. Where to learn hacking. Start with Try Hack Me, spend a year on Try hack me, move to hack the box and from there figure out what are your plans for the future. If you want to do website testing, Borp Academy and Pentester Lab and my channel are brilliant resources to start with. If you want to practice hacking overall then probably stick to try hack me and hack the box. For anything else, just Google it and it will give you millions of results and websites to look through. Twitter also has thousands of top hackers there, so don't forget to check it out. Quick summary, so as I said, take these points down and start learning step by step. Once you get to the hack the box, you should know a thing or two. Remember that if you have any questions, you can always contact me on Twitter. For now, I recommend checking out my networking and Linux tutorials and anything you can really think of is on my channel. See ya!